but astonishingly, all eight planes were buried in 268 feet of ice. 268 feet. The thickest glaciers on Earth are found on Greenland and Antarctica and can have thicknesses of ice as great as four kilometers or 2.5 miles thick. So how long could it take for that much ice to accumulate? Well, central Greenland's four kilometer thick ice cap is said to have taken 100,000 years. Now, if you crunch the numbers, we end up with a rate of about 1.5 inches a year. Empirical observations, however, conclusively show that the rate of ice accumulation, it can proceed at incredibly rapid rates. This is a Lockheed P-38 World War II fighter plane that due to bad weather was forced to make an emergency landing on the Greenland ice cap on the 15th of July, 1942, while the crew were on their way to a mission in Britain. In the squadron, along with the P-38, were five other P-38s and two B-17 bombers that also had to make an emergency landing. Now, all the planes landed safely and the crew were later rescued, but the planes were abandoned and forgotten until in 1992. So 50 years later, this particular P-38 was salvaged. Now, here it is, restored and flying in all its former glory. Now, what's unusual about this discovery was the depth that the planes lay in the ice. Everyone on the salvage mission supposed that the planes would be either at the surface or buried under just a few meters of ice. But astonishingly, all eight planes were buried in 268 feet of ice. 268 feet. Now, in order to extract uh, this particular P-38 special equipment, had to be brought in to melt huge holes in the ice. And the salvagers then broke the plane up under the ice and brought it up in pieces. This is a truly remarkable finding because it empirically shows that if the conditions are ripe, ice can accumulate rapidly, apparently at a rate of 5.2 feet a year. Uh, compare that to the 1.5 inches a year proposed for Greenland's central ice cap. Now, another fascinating discovery was the number of ice layers that formed between the planes and the surface. There could perhaps be thousands of them here. And this means that at least at this location, each layer of ice was not deposited over a one year period. That's an assumption that is often made for ice layers found elsewhere on Greenland. Now, importantly, these data do not necessarily prove that the rate of 1.5 inches per year is false, since other World War II planes have been found at the surface like this B-29 bomber that made an emergency landing in 1947. Notice that it is still at the surface. But, and this is what is important, if the conditions are right, then ice can be deposited at a catastrophic rate. Now given a young age creationist model where after the flood, Warm oceans produced abundant precipitation, which rapidly turned to snow at the poles due to an atmosphere filled with volcanic aerosols and dust. And four kilometer thick ice caps could have formed in just a few decades or hundreds of years. Okay, so that's all from me, Ken Colson here at Creation Unfolding. Please, if this was interesting, in any way whatsoever, then go ahead and share this on your social media platform. I really, really appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, if you'd like to give, there'll be a link in the description. As you can imagine, I put a ton of work into these videos. Of course, as always, pray for Creation Unfolding Ministries, and we'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.